well I've stopped off at the uh, the old Laura Place fountain to have a chat with you today. Uh, if you've been following the blog vlog uh, you'll know that this is uh, one of the uh, the little bits of Bath heritage that's uh, taken a bit of a knock just recently in fact you can see the uh, the missing bits behind me um, elsewhere on the blog uh, I've given news about the fact that Baines is going to call someone in to uh, give some sort of a assessment as to how much it will cost to repair the fountain and getting work uh, and get it working properly again uh, that doesn't guarantee of course the job will be done uh, but at least uh, they're going to have a look at it um, I also heard that with the balustrade at Pulteney Bridge the little bit of balustrade that fell into uh, into the River Avon um, it is an insurance job uh, the vehicle involved has uh, has admitted responsibility, liability, so the council won't have to pay for the repair. Uh, that repair will be going ahead at some point soon. But I think they're going to put up an information board, and I hope they'll do the same here to at least let people know that these various bits of Bath heritage are not being ignored. Uh, some good news this morning. I heard that uh, the obelisk in Queen Square, uh, the, the, the base of the obelisk uh, at ground level uh, in one corner has crumbled or been kicked away. Uh, the Bath World Heritage Enhancement Fund people, bless them, Professor Barry Gilbertson and co, uh, are going to look at uh, getting an assessment and calling in a stonemason to effect a repair there. So that's good news. Uh, the other bit of information uh, I mentioned yesterday, um, I gave a list of cultural bodies that were benefiting from the, the government-led Culture Recovery Fund. Martin Salter, who's known to you all as Mr. Bennett, uh, he dresses up as Mr. Bennett and stands outside the Jane Austen Centre, sent me in an email to say that um, uh, the centre was benefiting from the fund and would remain open this winter uh, with Martin standing in front of the door as often as he can uh, but of course keeping a, a, a social distance from people who are coming in to view that particular facility. Uh, they also have timed entry, most places do, so you have to go online and book your time slot uh, and then you can go and enjoy it. Uh, one final bit of information uh, while I'm sitting here uh, beside the Laura Place Fountain, well actually I'm sitting on the edge of it, um, a little whisper, a little birdie told me that uh, that e-scooter trial is due to start on October the 22nd. It's going to be very interesting uh, to see how that particular trial goes. And remember, if you're going to hire one of these bikes, uh, it is legal because you're hiring it, but don't ride it on the pavement. They belong on the road, okay. That's about it for today. Uh, whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, enjoy.